Hello, yes, Charlottesville Riot and you Kip's demise. Charlottesville Riot, again, our enemies taking us down. A dark and dangerous road of violent confrontation with Antifa that's achieving zilch. All that happened is what you've uh, viewed on YouTube and on the TV news channels and read in the newspapers. Violence, violence, deaths as well. There was a woman that was run over and killed, a dozen or so more, 19 was it, uh, injured by the, the guy in the car, there's others that have been assaulted on both sides, there's uh, an helicopter that crashed with two policemen in that were monitoring the event, the whole thing has been a disaster and a serious uh, own goal uh, regarding white nationalism in America, but our enemies have deliberately taken us down that road, can't you see what's happening, whether not it's Richard Spencer or Matthew, Heimbach, or whoever, the taken our movement, the white nationalist movement in America down a dark and dangerous road of violent confrontation with an irrelevant and probably government controlled or Southern Poverty Law Centre controlled Antifa. You see, in Charlottesville, I'll leave the link below, they have council elections and the population is still 69% white, so why isn't anyone standing in the council elections to vote the traitors out? That's how you change things. And if you look at, uh, through the link, the link below of left, uh, it's all about uh, the council's finance and everything at their disposal. You vote the fuckers out. That's what you do. You don't go and have a fight with an irrelevant anti-fa. And Greg Johnson talked a load of bollocks with Millennial Woes, the latest video they, they, them two have just done that we explain to the public that it's nothing to do with us, the violence. It's the inherent nature of the left, they're the ones to blame. Firstly, Mr Johnson, the public couldn't give a toss who started it. And secondly, as Saul Alinsky said in Rules for Radicals, you cannot undo a negative. And he's right. So you can't explain to the public who started it, who was in the right and who was in the wrong. They just see violence. How long would that take to try and convince the public, just of Charlottesville that is? Christ, but the multiculturalism would have bulldozed us by then, right? You can't waste any more time on these side issues. We have to go to the people of Charlottesville or whoever they are, in white nations across the world, with the answers to their problems, their um, concerns and tragedies they face on a daily basis, not get into stupid bleeding fights with anti vac Oh, you know, I can't believe, well I can, but I can't believe there's still even good people going along with this. You're that idiot on Nick Griff from British Unity Facebook page, Whitefire66. I know what someone said about that, what it sounds like. It sounds like a username a teenager would use on a PlayStation forum or something, isn't it? Yeah. He's talking about there's going to be a Unite the Right here in Britain. With who? Tommy Robinson and Paul Golding? Or maybe Jackson and Nick Griffin? What a load of bollocks, right? You see, there's nothing to unite. We need to start again, which is happening now. We're meeting someone on Friday, which I'm going to be very productive. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, also, I'll just slightly diversify onto UKIP, which is the second part of the talk of this video. Uh, reports are coming back from several people I have around the country who attend UKIP meetings that demoralisation is setting in, dissent, people are leaving in droves, people are concerned about the forthcoming leadership election uh, regarding Amory Waters, as if she wins they're going to leave, but I don't think it matters whether or not she wins or loses and Peter Whittle wins, I think it's doomed anyway. The enemies of British nationalism are doomed to UK, what they've been doomed to us the past 40 years, but thanks to Joe Owens, we're now forewarned, we're now aware of the modus operandi, how they operate and how to counter it, how to deal with it. Yeah, you can't stop them joining, I understand that, but you can stop them taking over the control of the party, the structure that I'll have in place will be people that I know I can trust, that are 100% British nationalists, they're not spies, they're not sellouts, and that's the way you, we've got to do this, and those that cause trouble, they'll only do it once and they're out. So, uh, very sad news regarding UKIP, but I always knew the time would eventually, you know, arrive when either UKIP was brought down, or whoever leading it wouldn't cross the line in the sand like we British nationalists, uh, will and intend to. Uh, so yes, I'm getting reports back that it's doomed, it's finished, but we shall see, as Nick Griffin used to say, you may still say that, but uh, 
Yeah, Charlottesville. And also, the Charlottesville riot. Let me just put this to you. The powers that be, whoever they are, the shadow government that runs America, that's the media, the mass media, we've got one here. The shadow government around the world is the mass media, right? The shadow government, should I say, sorry, around the world is the mass media. That's what does it. But anyway, they're not frightened of the alternative right, as an example. Uh, even though we know it's their creation, the Southern Poverty Law Centre created it. Richard Spence and all the rest of them work for um, Southern Poverty Law Centre, just like Nathan D'Amico, Matthew Heinbach and Andrew John Gage and all the rest of them. Right. But even if the alternative right and all the rest of them were genuine, they would never fear them because they know they'd never win power and they'd never have mass support. Who they do fear is Donald Trump, who is in power at the moment and can change things. You better start doing it sooner rather than later. It's Trump they want out of office. They're not bothered about the alternative right or unite the right. That's just being used to create violence for two reasons. To alienate the public of America, the white people of America, alienate them from the white nationalist cause and also use it as a stick to beat Donald Trump and hopefully drive him out of office. There's a bigger picture here. Uh, but all the same people again are behind it, you know, we've got to stand up to the left. You don't stand up to anyone. You conduct yourself in a proper professional and adult manner, knocking on doors, standing in elections. The, the left is irrelevant, it's just being used by the same enemies controlling our movement to create the pantomime and circus, that's all it's for, right? So. I didn't really want to do a video on Charlottesville, the riot, but it's so embarrassing. Can't you see what's happening? And it's the same choice characters there again, isn't it? Matthew Einbach and um, Richard Spencer and whatever. I mean, Richard Spencer, what's he brought the movement since uh, he got involved? Nothing, violence and co confrontation. The same with Matthew Heinbach. What's he brought the movement or the two of them? Or Nathan D'Amigo or Angelo John Gage, well exactly, nothing, just violence and confrontation. Same with Tommy Robinson and Paul Golding here in Britain. Also as well, even if there was no left at Char uh, Charlottesville causing trouble, who's going to support or vote or join a mob on the street wearing crash helmets and shields with weird symbols on them? Well exactly, it's like a little cult, again like this is the way... Our, our enemies want to portray our movements, our cause, what we believe in to the public. And all we're doing, the good people that are going along with it, you're just alienating our people further and further. Nothing has been achieved at Charlottesville, right? It's just demonised the cause, the message, and also they're now using it, which was intended to, as a stick to beat Donald Trump, because it's Trump they want out of office. They're not scared of the alternative rights even if it was genuine which it's not it's their creation they work for the southern poverty law center richard spencer matthew heinbach uh nathan d'amigo uh, angelo john cage and many many others i'm sure right so we've got to start wising up to these fuckers this is what's happening there's council elections in charlottesville put your name on a ballot and if the public of charlottesville reject you then they've only got what's coming what's coming to them haven't they? Well, of course, but I don't believe that would happen with the right campaign. Support of the uh, General Lee statue, the memorial to him, and many, many other figures, uh, Confederate statues around that neck of the woods. I think you can get the people behind you. And don't forget, Charlottesville's still 69% white. So why is anyone standing any candidates? Because if you were to get a, a seat on the council in Charlottesville, that would make world news. And that would be real news that people would encourage and welcome, right? like Donald Trump, right? People uh, voted and supported him because he offered real change, not violence and confrontation. Come on, this is child's play what's happening before us. But again, it's all the same characters, all the same ones pushing the same nonsense, and all gravitating together. You've got Greg Johnson with millennial woes now. Okay, thank you.